Hello. So we're back in this time with another Temu video review. Now this time, like always, I picked up some good items. We have some stainless steel precision tweezer, and I really need one like this. We have a decent USB-C power meter. Here we have a video doorbell camera. And I admitted I was a little bit selfish picking, picking up this item, but I need one and probably everyone need ones. And the best camera the money can buy. Yeah, so this camera, it's Unity 260, is the best what we can get price performance at this moment. Now, the way it works, and I really admire this from Temu, they heavily discount the items. But obviously, for uh, new app users only. So if you don't have any of these items, I think this is a good moment to create an account, install the app, and uh, do some shopping. You will find a link on the description how you can uh, install the app, and also you will find a code, and with that code you can get a £100 discount coupon, where uh, you can apply at the checkout and get everything even cheaper. Now let's start to review the items. Mechanic is a very good brand, probably the best one at the moment. So I pick up a precision tweezer because, because I need one, especially if you work with small components or like phone repairs, eh, where everything is actually even smaller. Now this is the tweezer. So what do you think about that? Check there, check there. Perfect, huh? Let's test it. Let me grab a motherboard. Let's do some work. Try to see how the tweezer is working. What about a chip? Chip, perfect, huh? Perfect grip. Soldering back the chip, perfect. What about a small resistor? Small resistor, perfect. Soldering the resistor back. Again, perfect. What about a small capacitor? Capacitor, perfect. Soldering the capacitor back. Again, perfect. And if you think you can buy this tweezer for only 99p, huh? a very good deal if you ask me. Now, a lot of people underestimate the tweezer, but, you know, having a good tweezer is so important, working with SMD components. Now, the next item is a USB meter, which has a decent uh, refresh rate. We have KWS2302 USB-C meter. Let's test it. A plug in the meter, and you can see it's displaying the voltage and the current, and... You can figure out the refresh rate based on the, the moving arrow. Now my battery is taking like 0 0.4 amps, so we have, we have like 5 volts. Having a button on the back where you can change the layout of the screen, you can add more uh, information. Pressing again, working fine. USB meters are quite important these days when uh, every laptop has like a USB-C port. Plug in my screwdriver. Same, you can see you can see the current, you can see the voltage, and also the power. Working fine. You can buy this power meter with 99p. Now the next item I want to review is the thermal camera. And everyone needs a thermal camera, especially on this uh, this business. And it's not necessary to be like the repair business. It's about electronics, uh, generally speaking. Even if it's like DIY or industrial electronics or repairs or whatever, you need a thermal camera. Now, this particular camera is UT260B, but also you have 260A. And it's not such a big difference. I mean, just the temperature range, this one, the, the A version is up to 400 degrees, which is more than enough, and 260B, it's up to 550 degrees. But, you know, same sensor, same uh, resolution, same everything. Opening the camera, 
and inside we have the manual we have the charging cable and the camera itself we have a nice sensor and also we have a video camera there pressing the power button and the camera it is coming on I didn't check the camera before so we're gonna see together how it's performing and the camera it's on so what do you think about the, the quality sensitivity yeah you can still see the thermal from my fingers let's grab a motherboard and see what we can see you know what you know what here is a difference between this camera and what I'm seeing here uh, probably because of the camera dynamic range you just see a yellow thing I see shades of the yellow on uh, actually the camera let me grab a motherboard so here we have a motherboard not sure what's the story with the motherboard I uh, received the motherboard from a customer trying to powering up the board I'm not sure if the board is working but we should be able to diagnose the board using the thermal camera so on the board I believe this is the charging port we have a fuse we have a diode here and the board is starting I can't believe let me bring the power supply on the screen we have the power supply coming with current and check that the board is starting you can see the CPU there so the focus range is from about 10 centimeters if you go closer check that I mean you can still see but the things are getting fuzzy so the best sharpness it's about 10 centimeters on the board then of course you can go far and it's even sharper you can see the ram chips they are getting power you can see the color is slightly different so i know the ram memory has power check here even the easy chip you can see the easy chip you can see like slightly warm you can see it actually the the the, the easy chip is working and there we have an IC which again is getting warm not only one are more I, uh, ICs which they are getting warm so you can you can see that the resolution is quite distant I mean you can see every component from the motherboard a proper decent camera 256192 the resolution uh, 25 Hertz the refresh rate and you can see the resolution here and the uh, temperature range now in order to buy this camera you have to be a new app user and also you have to search the code which is here on the screen you write the code on the search box you press search and you apply the discount coupon you will have a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars discount coupon now probably you are curious if I will pick up this camera or the camera I use so if I will be to choose again, probably I'll pick up this camera just because of the price and uh, the performance you can get from this camera. I think this can be helpful for you if you are doing electronics. Now the last item on the list is the video doorbell camera. My wife is telling me from years we need something like that. So here we have the screen and here we have the camera itself. Now this is not only like a simple video camera you can also uh, speak with the person which is at the door then you have the button the doorbell button yeah we have the monitor on just uh, give me a little bit of time let me install the camera super cool yeah the quality uh, the recording quality is a lot better compared with what you see also you have the you can speak with the with the person from the door and it's going on standby also it has night view has a light in case it's night and on the night time you have black and white um, uh, image then you can push and talk one one, one. one. very useful now the memory card this uh, receiver has a memory card and the transmitter also has a memory card here so you can record on uh, on both so i'm gonna stop now one more time you have the link on the description you can create a new account and then you can um, on the search box you use the code from the screen and you can apply a discount uh, coupon Thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.